What's up YouTube? It's LDS Reliance. I was getting ready to do another Will It Solar episode today and uh, I thought before I did that I would uh, concentrate on this little guy here that I've been working on for a couple days. This is a, a test box, a, a test rig that I've created to make it easier for me to do these Will It Solar videos. Um, it, it just kind of contains everything that I need to just quickly plug and play uh, different devices to, to do some testing. I'm also going to be using it for a new series that I'm, that I'm toying with uh, starting called Will It Inverter or Will It Invert. I haven't really decided which, which title works. But anyway, uh, I wanted to show you this. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and zoom in and I'll show you what we've got here. Okay, so what I did was I just made a simple wooden box with some scrap that I had laying around and I made compartments in it. So I've got a little divider wall there that is perfectly sized to hold a, the average 7.2 or 8 amp hour 12 volt battery there. Um, it, do, it does have a lid for it, uh, but I haven't put that on yet. So um, anyway, that, that compartment's designed to keep the battery from, from moving around, keep it, keep it snug. And then this other uh, compartment here, I put one of my best, actually my best, very best, a 12 volt charge controller. It's a Morning, uh, Morning Star is the, the brand that makes it. It's a Sunsaver 20L, which means it's a 20 amp unit. And it is a, like I said, a 12 volt uh, charge controller, but it doesn't suffer from some of the weird quirks that some of these cheapo Chinese made uh, charge controllers deal with. And then over here, I've got uh, the shunt for, I've got this wired to the load side of the charge controller over there. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide the resistance to make this amp meter and voltmeter work. So as you can see right now, there's no load on it. And we've got 13.1 volts on our topped off, charged off, topped up, fully charged battery there. And then you're probably wondering what this is. Um, in my previous videos, I've always had this, this gauge connected to the big battery, but I created this little battery cluster here out of one, out of AA batteries and connected it. So this has its own power source and doesn't interfere whatsoever in the rest of the system. And then out the side, we've got our, our wires that will be connected. We've got two wires that come to this inverter here and again, it'll be quick, quick to change out in inverters in case I want to test a different type of inverter or whatever. And then I've got two other wires that will go to the solar panel. And everything's already pre-wired, everything's ready to go, so I can just um, quickly, like I said, just quickly swap out um, solar panels, inverters, whatever I want to test with or, or whatever load that I want to run. Um, in, in case I don't want to run an inverter, I can just connect directly to a 12 volt load. Anyway, just wanted to show you real quick this little box that I've got in case anyone cares uh, before we do our next uh, episode. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.